area of triangle. Find the area of triangle ABC with vertices A 9 minus 1 minus 6, B 7 2 minus 5 and C 7 3 minus 3. Now to find area of triangle we need to first find what are the vectors AB, BC and CA representing the three sides of the triangle and then we can have cross product. The cross product will actually give us area of the parallelogram that means two triangles. So to find area of triangle we should write area of triangle is equal to half of A cross B. Now remember cross product is truly a vector. So we need to take just the magnitude of A cross B. Now here A is the side opposite to vertex A that means I'm saying side BC and B is the side opposite to vertex B. So well, let me just make this triangle once here and tell you what I'm trying to say. Let's say this is A, B and C. Then when I say vector A, I'm just saying referring to this side A, which is opposite to A. And when I'm saying B, I'm referring to the side opposite to B. And when I say C, it is re referring to side opposite vertex C, right? So from this, have a look at this triangle. Anyway, you can find any two sides. So let's find side AC first, for example. AC is equals to A is here and C is there. So what we will do is, I'll use matrix here. So AC, <coughs> C minus A. So write 7, 3, minus 3. And A is 9 minus 1. So we'll take away those. Which is 9 minus 1 and minus 6, right? And that gives us AC, which is 7 minus 9, 2, 3 plus 1. 4 minus 3 plus 6 gives us 3, right? So we get AC. Now vector A is side BC for us. So we say BC is equals to B to C. So we'll say 7, 3 minus 3, 7, 3 minus 3 minus of 7. From here we'll do minus of 2 and minus of minus 5 is plus 5. So BC is 0, 1, and 2 for us, right? So you got AC and BC. Now, area of the triangle is equals to half times cross product of, let me write now, AC cross BC, right? And after doing the cross product, we'll actually take the magnitude, right? So the cross product is half of AC is 2, 4, 3 and BC is 0, 1, 2. So we can use the matrix method or we can use uh, our rows method. Right? Let's use matrix here. So we'll write the components I, J, K. AC is 2, 4, 3 and BC is 0, 1, 2. So it is equals to half of, let me put the brackets here. Now I component is 4 times 2, 8, minus 3, minus J, which is 2 times 2, 4, minus 0, plus K which is 2 minus 0, so just 2. That's what it is. So we get our cross product as equals to, let me write it here now, half of 5i minus 4j plus 2k. Now, area is the magnitude of this, right? So, so we need to find area as magnitude of this vector. 
So what I will do is I'll write magnitude here. Okay. So that makes it complicated, but I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. And that is, this is a scalar quantity we can take outside. So that means the magnitude, right? So now we are trying to find magnitude of this. Is it fine? Now what is the magnitude of this equals to? Magnitude is 5 square. So we'll just write magnitude here. So which is equals to half of square root of 5 square plus minus 4 square plus 2 square which is equals to half of square root of 25 plus 16 plus 4 which is 20 and 25 is 45 so it is half of square root of 45 and you know 45 is 9 times 5 and 9 square root is 3 so we can write this as 3 over 2 square root of 5 right so that is the area of triangle right so we get our answer and that is area of triangle is equals to 3 over 2 of square root of 5 so that is thank you